Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. I'm gonna be doing my house plant tour today. So this plant right here is the same Monstera that I showed you guys in my first plant tour, which was kind of cringy, and I don't know if you guys are gonna wanna watch that, but this is my Monstera Deliciosa. It has come out with so many new leaves, and it has one leaf that's on the way right here, and it's coming out of this very, very beautiful split leaf so i'm really excited about that but it's gotten giant and i'm in love with it so yes that's that guy and then next to it is my raphidophora tetrasperma and i am really 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 loving this guy it's definitely one of my favorite plants at the moment i know that there has been some controversy on whether or not this is actually a raphidophora tetrasperma but people have pretty much concluded that these are tissue cultured and that's why it takes a while for them to actually look like fat leaves like the ones that you typically see and then the next guy is my giant monstera adansonii i this guy is my baby i will never stop loving this plant it's beautiful it's trailing on this little shelf like up my wall right here i think everybody should have a monstera adansonii and it's really gotten big i don't know how well you guys can see how giant it is but i've cut off a lot of leaves i've taken cuttings from it and it still looks massive and then i have my succulents back here they're still doing well some of them have died and i've replaced them with other succulents and then here is the syngonium that i have from my grandma and it's already coming out with a new leaf i don't know how well you guys can see that but yeah that's all of my succulents on my windowsill i don't really want to get into specifically what they are just because i feel like i did that last time and it took absolutely forever but this is a bear paw and this is a jade and those are my favorites so yeah that's this corner right here this is a southeast facing window i used to think it was a south facing window but then i realized that the sun actually rises like the corner of my house to where my plants aren't really getting that much sun from it and then it like moves and then south ends up being that way i don't know if you guys care about that but that's the light that these guys are getting on top of my voice being wonky please forgive my messiness i haven't really dusted or cleaned so if you see some dirtiness i am so sorry i just don't have time for that <laughs> But this guy right here is my Marble Queen Pothos. It seems to be doing very well. This guy is still giving me a ton of variegation. I really love Pothos and uh, this guy is one of my favorites. And then up here I have my Neon Pothos next to my How to Make a Plant Love You book by Summer Rain Oaks. I haven't finished reading it and I specifically put it up here because I wanted to show you guys that I have it and that I am currently reading it and that you should too. But I have this up here next to this guy. I am in love with this guy too. Again, I really love my Pothos. It's a really cool color. I just... It's amazing. I got this with my cousins and I love it. And so. then here we have my troubled child that has come back to life to love me. This is my Calathea Ornata. This guy looked so much better on my last plant tour video. It had a bunch of leaves, but all of them are crispy and they are pretty much coming back to life now. I've got the hang of caring for this and it seems to really like me now and it's kind of a plus because the old leaves were all white because they were already mature and these little stripes are pink now because they are babies so that's really exciting it has a new leaf coming out right here and i'm really really stoked to say that i brought this plant back from the dead and then we have here my prayer plants on my windowsill they are my favorite plants i think they're beautiful i really really love looking at them they have such pretty patterned leaves this guy is a variegated one and it is beautiful the leaves are 
pretty giant I'd say and I'm just really excited to see this guy grow for me and then next to him is the regular green prayer plant and I think it's really cute because it has tiny leaves in comparison to the other one and it's not crispy so I'm really 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 enjoying this guy it's beautiful and I just really like looking at it. And then we have these two which I believe are in the same spot that they were the last time and this guy has gotten giant. Prayer plants are the best I think because they grow so quickly. Like look at this. It's massive. I don't remember how many leaves it had whenever I first got it but it definitely was not this big and it really really loves this spot that I have it in so it's beautiful I really recommend that if you find this in stores buy it and then we have my Calathea white fusion so this guy is just <sighs> I don't want to say that it's gorgeous again, but it's gorgeous. The leaves are beautiful and it recently came out with an all white leaf and I just, I didn't even know that that could happen, <laughs> but it's so, so, so pretty. The only thing that I think is a little weird about it is that it has lost the purple backing that it had. I don't really know what's up with that, but if anybody knows why that's happening, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, this is my Calathea White Fusion. And then on this side of my windowsill, I also have a another philodendron micans. I have about four philodendron micans at this point now, but I have this guy in a cloche and it is, it's definitely one of my favorite things to look at. It's just, ah, I love this and I'm really looking forward to getting another one of these so I can put another plant in it. I'm just not sure what plant to put in it. I just know that cloches are actually really good for plants and I feel like this guy has grown so much for me while it's been in there. And then here I actually have a plant that I haven't really showed you guys. This is my Scandapsis Pictus Silvery Ann. I, I got this at Buchanan's and it's like took my breath away. I had wanted it and seen it on Gabriella Plants, but I didn't really want to spend the money on shipping, so I decided to just try and find it in person. And then my friend, The Plant Vibe, on Instagram let me know that they actually had these at Buchanan's at one point, so I decided to go and check it out, and I found one. And this has so much silver to it. The only thing that is a little funny is the fact that the leaves are so itty bitty. Like, you can kind of see them in comparison to my finger. All of the Skintapsis Pictuses are just stunning and I would definitely recommend that you guys go and grab one if you can. But yeah, that's this guy right here. And then next to that guy is my jade plant that my aunt gave me and it's hasn't given me too much new growth but it seems to be enjoying its spot right here it's not dying so i am really excited to see this guy get even more giant my goal is pretty much to get it as big as possible but i think it's definitely definitely getting there and then the last one that i have right there on my windowsill is my peperomia rosso pearl so this guy is not just the regular green version but it has a silveriness to it and it's just so pretty it's coming out with a ton of new leaves i don't know how well you guys can see those tiny leaves but it's also flowering i was gonna move this to give it some more light in a different spot but i noticed that it really enjoyed it there so i just decided to leave it and i really 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 enjoy this plant i kind of want to get the regular green one to put right here and switch this guy out but i haven't been able to find one that is as full as that one so i'm pretty much on the hunt for that just so that way that can make things even here but that's pretty much my windowsill i love all of the windows that i have but again this is like an east facing window and that's a southeast facing window so it doesn't really give me too too much light and i have some filtered screens on all of my windows i really want to put a curtain rod right here and maybe have some hanging plants i think that would be really cute but for now that's what this looks like and then i have this area right here which is where i film and where you guys see the majority of my plants Wesley wants to say hi hi baby hi honey i have this on an ikea stand i'm gonna link it down below it was only i think 15 dollars, and i feel like that was a really good deal for furniture but i have my plants on here and they are pretty much all low light plants that is because they are pretty far away from my window 
and I feel like it would definitely be, be best for these plants to not be bright light plants because they would definitely die. I have my Maranta Silver Vand right here and it is one of my favorite plants for sure, 110%. I want to buy another one. That's how much I love this plant. And my birds are right here. So <laughs> for everybody who wants to see my birds, these are them. They are a little messy right now, but this is Daffy and that is Sunny. So <laughs> that's what they look like right here. That's why they're they're so super close to my filming spot. That's pretty much the reason why you hear them all the time. But yeah, this is my Maranta Silver Band. And then I have my red veined prayer plant right here. You better believe that I'm trying to collect all of the prayer plants. And it has two new growth points coming out right now and i am really excited to see those this is the peace lily that you guys saw in my last video i haven't done anything else to it but it's in a pot that i bought from at home and it doesn't have drainage hole and then this is a plant that i haven't showed you guys and it is ah i love it so much i know that i say that i love all my plants like i'm pretty sure i've said that a thousand times in this video but this is a pink syngonium. I believe it is a neon robusta. I got this at Cornelius Nursery recently and it was only $6 and it was very large. So I decided to go ahead and grab it despite not having very much money left in my plant budget. It's really pretty here. I feel like it kind of plays off of the red vein on my prayer plant. So it's I think that it's a pretty good pair right here. And then this is my Sansevieria Moonshine that you have all seen. It is definitely one of my favorite plants. I've mentioned it in like my favorite plant videos and you guys pretty much see it in every background of my most recent videos and that's what it looks like. It's right here. It's chilling. It's definitely gorgeous. I considered splitting up the pups that are in it, but I decided just to leave it alone because I really enjoy how full it looks. And then next to that is my Domino Peace Lily that is very droopy right now because I just watered her for this video, but she hasn't exactly perked up fully yet. So that's pretty much why she's droopy like this, but it still has her wonky leaf and she still has a lot of variegation. But again, she is pretty far away from the window. And this corner right here has my little fur baby. This is Lucas, by the way. This is another mini schnauzer that I have. He is my baby. He is more my mom's baby than he is my baby. Wesley is definitely my child but he is also here he loves me too so this is lucas i know that you guys don't really see him that often but yeah he's here and then over here in the corner by my door are my sansevierias this guy is a regular trifasciata and it has grown two new pups since the last video it used to just be one with three leaves but two little pups have come out so i really like this guy i can't wait for it to get more full and then next to it is my starfish sansevieria this guy has grown so many new little pups and it has gotten to the point where i should probably separate this i don't really like the look of how many pups it has but i just kind of leave it there because i'm too scared that i'm gonna break it off it lost a little limb there whenever i got it so yeah, these are my Sansevierias in this little corner by my door. And this little area right here pretty much has all of my Scandapsis pictuses. I have two Exoticas because I'm insane. I love them so much that I needed to have two of them. I picked this one up at a nursery for about $6, and I got this one online for about $20, and... I just, I, ah, I just love them so much. They're really silver. They actually sit under my grow light right here, and I think that they really enjoy that, and I think that's why they're growing so quickly, but I have the regular Scandapsis Pictus also right here. This is already trailing. I got this from Lowe's when it wasn't that big. You can see this on my original plant tour video too and you can see the difference. It's definitely gotten a lot larger and this has moved around all over my room but this is, seems to be the spot where it enjoys it the most. So that's my little Scandapsis Pictus trio that I have right there. And then I have my philodendron stand which is a stand that i have been talking about for a while now i have my philodendron micans right here and i have my philo brandy right here 
and my philodendron neon that I got from Gabriella's plants here, and then my regular green guy down here. So this plant stand was gifted to me by my boyfriend because he's amazing. We got it at a farmer's market here in Houston, and I fell in love with it and I really like how the terracotta and like this colored wood looks against my coral wall and I decided that it was gonna go here so the grow lights definitely supplement the amount of light that it has this back wall here is definitely far away from my windows but it does get a pretty good amount of ambient light but this is my plant stand right here and then the last plant that I have in my bedroom is my Cebu Blue, which is here, and I have recently trellised it up this clothing rack, and it is 110% one of the most enjoyable plants that I have. I wake up to it in the morning. I will say, however, that when I am sleeping, sometimes I wake up and I think there's like a person standing next to my bed, but there's definitely not. It's just my Cebu Blue, but I've taken so many cuttings from this guy. I'm so excited to see it trail onto my clothes rack. I have some macrame hangers right here that I am still waiting to use. I haven't found a plant exactly that I want to put there yet, but I can't wait to have some more hanging plants here. But yeah, I think that I went over every single plant in my room. I'm hoping to make another mini greenhouse tour video and I can show you the rest of my plants there. That's where the majority of the cool rare plants are because I feel like the greenhouse is definitely a, ver a better environment for them than my room, but I have some pretty sweet plants in here too and they make me really happy and I love living around them but yeah if you didn't see some plants here that you've seen me unbox or haul it's probably in my greenhouse or they're outside because it's summer right now and a lot of my plants really enjoy it outside so I just wanted to mention that but I think that that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment some stuff down below or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down below. And if you like plant videos and you like house plant tours, go ahead and subscribe to me if you want to, but that is going to be it for today's video. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.